Hi, it's Wave, and I wrote my first draft, which is pretty exciting, and uh, this is also my first book as well. And I thought it'd be pretty cool to know if any of you guys are also starting to write your own novel or short or a screenplay or anything like that, and how your journey has been. So I'll be breaking this down into chunks of my mindset of the beginning with the planning, the good and the bad, and overall wrap up of what I learned from it. So let's get started. I came up with the mindset of I had a pre-plan of what my novel was going to be. The beginning was actually came in fairly quick for me. Normally that doesn't happen. I usually know the, uh, what is it called? The ending before it begins. And I knew that starting uh, first of anything is always going to take me the longest. But once I have it done, it goes faster the more I do it. And the first chapter, of course, was always going to be the hardest for me because it's the beginning. I had the intention of doing a year to get this draft done because I wasn't sure how the writing process was going to be. But at the same time, I knew that if I were to do something short, like three months, it wasn't going to work because I have past experiences of working on projects, of trying to get it done within two weeks or a month. And it just doesn't work out that way because I always do not factor out um, getting sick or um, doctor's appointments or even life in general just getting in the way. So because of that, a year seemed to me a bit more reasonable. And it did because I was very determined to get it done in the year, especially as I approach near December time. I also knew coming into it I wasn't going to be perfect because from what I've learned from famous authors, they always say the first draft is always going to be your most terrible one. It's never going to be from you do your one draft round and then you're finished up to publish. That doesn't happen. And if that were possible, then you'll see like how poorly uh, mistakes happen and all that from not like going over revision process, the editing, and just having it like look over. I've also came into the mindset of not worrying about word count because I had it set up to be the minimum will be 250 words. I thought that would be a pretty good starting point and if I went over it was great. If I went under it wouldn't be that good but at the same time since it would be the first draft it wasn't going to be that hard because I can just fix things along the way and get up to that point. So I wasn't too worried with that. I've also known coming into beginning of my first draft that I was going to make a lot of mistakes and I was going to actually learn from it and also get to see what my strength and weaknesses are and on top of that, what's my level of writing. Now the bad. <sighs> One of the starting points that kind of gave me a really rough uh, beginning of writing was I didn't know what type of writer I was. I didn't quite understand the whole plotter and pantser thing and I thought like the quiz wasn't really accurate uh, so I just wrote like what was coming to me and all that. I did do some writing challenges with some famous authors. Not that they actually were in it and all that, I just picked authors I found were interesting and had, um, were well known, like Stephen King and Maggie Stavater. Um, uh, that way you can just keep me accountable and just keep pushing to see what my limits were, but also learn at the same time as well. Those were kind of good and bad at the same time, but they will be separate videos and you'll understand why. When I finished the rough draft, I ended up finishing with 204 words and I was actually pretty disappointed in myself because I didn't hit the main target of 250. But the more I thought about it, I was actually happy that I actually got that far because for the longest time I was actually at 150 and then once I pushed the, past the threshold I was stuck in, it ended up being 204. So the fact that I got 204 pages done the first year is a big accomplishment because it's not easy writing as I've come to learn. Another thing that was pretty bad was taking long breaks. Because I was in the transition of switching schools for university, I had to um, focus on that because getting the paperwork, making sure that um, everything was said and done, that way it was easy transition, there was no like hiccups 
because I want to finish up school real fast. And that was pretty chaotic. So because I took a long break, that actually made my skills pr pretty dull and made me procrastinate a lot to where I didn't feel confident in my writing. And my writing did take um, a plummet form because of that. And I think somewhere around close to holiday season, that also was pretty tough as well because holidays was a bunch of meal prepping and um, very chaotic. I think I got sick on top of that too, like a, once or twice. So that wasn't fun. I've also became dispassionate about the project itself and I really hated that and I was also hating myself for it because it was really fun and all that but I somehow forgotten why I loved it so much and it's not my die-hard project like there's some projects that you do that you love and you hold dear to your heart more than some other projects that you have that you still enjoy but it's not like your your baby you know um this is an idea that i've had since middle school and just stuck with me and just actually tried writing a novel for once because i kept saying i was going to and i kept checking it out but there were some good things i actually read a couple of craft books never done that before I felt like it was actually a good thing just to keep the juices flowing is like usually when I read something it's end up sparking something of imagination of either my current projects I have or um, a new idea and it also taught me a few little tricks as well like one of them was about uh, outlining and I never thought of it before but I finished the book somewhere near the ending because I just want to get it off my Goodreads list. Um, I can't remember if I actually was reading Stephen King at the same time too, or was it last year? But I read the craft book and I think another one as well. I can't exactly recall. Doing the author challenges like Maggie Savater and Stephen King. Doing those challenges, even though there, there was some bad to it, the good parts was it actually showed me Especially for Maggie Stavar, I could get through 30 days of writing consistently and that actually built a good habit for a time before I end up going for the long break of just continuing to write and write and write. Doing the challenges actually helped me figure out my writing style and routine. It's not perfect as I still don't know what's my full concrete, foolproof method, but it's a starting point. And if I didn't take them, and do the challenges, I never would have probably gone as far as I want, uh, as I did to complete the draft. One of the good things of doing this is that I've had some friends that were actually really supportive and were actually encouraging me. Like, one of them was actually a writer herself, but she does uh, a different format. So we were sharing each other on and have an accountability partner as well. So doing that once a week and then just in being, just being supportive friend, uh, friends, but also giving out advice to each other, and just expressing our discomforts and our frustrations. And because we write, we have an understanding of what it's like to be a writer, even though we do different formats. Like I do the novel, but also I screenwrite as well. Even though for her, she does more of a of play format and a visual. But also talking to her actually sparked up ideas because she actually showed like her solutions and I decided to give it a go. So it forces me to experiment and see where can it can take me. Some of them work, some of them don't, but trying is really important. I've also read a lot, like I read what was it 89 books the year that I did the draft which was last year and reading shows that the more you read the more you get better at writing which is true but also you become familiar with the craft so technically I actually wrote the draft in six months it didn't feel that intimidating ending the draft um, towards the end showed me that all the mistakes and all that 
I can actually just fix in the revision. Um, even though I said before that writing a first is not going to be perfect and all that, because I've been a perfectionist for a really long time, my head never really accepted that fact. I put too much pressure on myself thinking I can do better because I have proved myself that I can do things. And at the same time, I don't give myself some gratitude by showing that this is just the baby step. You're not an expert. The things to take out of this lesson from writing my first draft is to not stop writing. It's a good thing to take a break, especially when you're sick. But if you're really sick or just away for long periods of time, it will actually hinder your writing. And then that will lead to procrastination. And then when you do finally decide to push yourself to getting on a desk and writing, you find yourself with anxiety, fear, and then the writer's block. And those aren't fun things at all. Continue to push yourself. There's was so many days where I didn't feel like writing. But the days I decided to write like one sentence or a paragraph was actually better than nothing. And actually kind of gave me the momentum to keep writing. And sometimes it didn't, but it just felt good knowing that I actually got something accomplished versus not writing anything at all and then feeling so bad that I didn't do a thing for it. Another thing is, is to remind yourself that writing your first draft is not going to be your masterpiece and don't worry about making so many mistakes because normally that is normal and also there's always a revision you can do. You can do a second draft as well. So just keep that in mind. There was a saying that my coach used to say for my weightlifting class and her saying was, there is just you, the barbell, and the plates. There's nobody else to blame, and there's nobody else to rely on. You have to do it on your own, which is completely true. So I kind of twisted it to my version of for a writer, is that it's just you, the pen, and the paper. Or if you do digital like me, it's you, the computer, and your keyboard. Nobody else can tell your story. But you. And that was my experience of writing my first draft. I'm thankful that I did it and I will post a video of how my first revision was like in the future. Please share this to anyone that you know that is a writer or writing for the first time or even think about writing their first draft. Send them this video and show that as someone who's doing it for the first time, it's not going to be easy but there is something rewarding about actually going through the process and doing it. In the meantime, take care of yourselves and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!